this is the first lab of astronomy class in which you are uh, introduced to the basic measurement techniques. You are measuring some distances by using metric streaks, rulers, and uh, by using protector, you are going to measure angles. Okay. However, it looks simple. Measuring is a very important thing. And the accuracy is another thing you need to remember. Measuring uh, something with great accuracy is very important. That's why while measuring something, whether it is distance or time or mass, you have to be as accurate as possible, okay? There are many chances of having error that might be because of human error or because of um, instrumental error or some other unknown reason. So our goal should be, we have to minimize the error, okay? So first thing in this lab is uh, to measure the height of your table. So this is an online class. So we, we are not doing this experiment in lab. So you can find any table that you have in your house and measure its height. You may not have metric state. If you have a rule, ruler, that's fine. You can use it that, okay? Uh, <clears throat> or anything that you have to measure the length that will be applicable, okay? So let me go to the step first, which is about table one, okay? So you are repeating experiment for five times. You are measuring the same height. You are not measuring the different height. You are measuring the height of the same table for five times. Why you are repeating? Because if you do something just for one time, there might be error that cannot be recovered if we believe that is true, that is accurate, right? That's why in any experiment, we have to repeat over and over to minimize the error, okay? That's why in this first height measurement, you are measuring heights of height of your table for five times, okay? So right here, this is the typo mistake, not a four. This is five, okay? you are doing five measurement right here, okay? So first job is you are gonna to measure height five times and write down in centimeter, okay? For example, you have uh, your table height is like 15 centimeter, right? This is in centimeters, it's already there, okay? You can convert it into uh, this height into the millimeter, you know what is the millimeter, right? Millimeter, if you multiply it by 10, centimeter will become millimeter, okay? 150 millimeter, okay? So this height can also be converted into meter. If you divide this one by 100, you will get uh, in meter, right? Which is 0 0.15, okay? Isn't it? This is in meter. So you measure height of your table in centimeter and convert it into millimeter and then into meter, okay? So similarly, same way, you can measure uh, height of the table second time, third time, fourth time, and five time, fifth time, okay? So might be in second time, your height is little different, right? Maybe, uh, you make some mistake and it could be 14.5 or something, right? And show. So, but it could not be uh, too much different. If you are, your first value is like 15 centimeter and the second value is like 10 centimeter, that is your mistake. You are measuring same thing again and uh, repeating value could not be too much different from the first one. Okay, so after getting five, five values, you can get average, you know, how to get average, just add all these five values and divide by five, right? In this way, you will get the height here, height of your table, which is, let's say, uh, your average value you get is 
protein uh, point pro, right? Suppose. So this, this will be your average height. And now uh, you can write down this value in scientific notation, okay? For this value, you can write down the scientific notation. So in scientific notation right here, it is protein, protein, uh, a one point pro, pro into 10, right? So 10 to the power one or 10. So how can I write down this one in scientific notation? We go here and 1.50 into 10 power two, right? That is 10 power two. So after one, there are two digits. That's why I'm writing 10 power two, right? So what about this number? <clears throat> this number is 1. Go back this way. So 1.5 into 10 power negative one, right? Because here is the uh, uh, decimal 0 0.15. I move this decimal right here and I get this, okay? So this is the scientific notation, okay? So you can take the average of all right here and then scientific in scientific notation, you can write it down like this, okay? So once you complete this one, you can move to move down. Let me cancel, clear this one without clearing this writing off. It is not letting me to proceed. So let's go to the second step. Similarly, as you did in first table, you can do same thing, but this time you are gonna do measure uh, thickness of the table, okay? And you are repeating all same kinds of processes as like in first one. Probably your uh, thickness of your tabletop will be very small, right? It, it may be like, a, uh, two centimeter or one centimeter, whatever you can calculate there. Okay, so this is almost the same. This to be aloof should be smaller. Okay, now <clears throat> right here is another thing which is very important in, in uh, measurement or any kinds of lab. Okay, the percentage difference. How much difference your value is from the actual value? That is the percentage difference, okay? For this one, first of all, gauge your uh, and length of your index finger and write it down. Suppose that I guess my index finger and its value is like uh, five centimeter, okay? So after using my ruler, I found actual measurement of my uh, index finger is like 4.5 centimeter, right? Right? You can write down this. So this is your value. This is your value, pi, and this is the actual value. This is actually measured, okay? So this is actually value. So insert your values right here, which is pi minus 4.5, right? It gives you something like this. Pi minus 4.5 divided by, not divided by 100, it's your value, right? Pi into 100, right? And once you calculate it, calculate it, you will get uh, uh, something like 1%, right? How much is there? 1% or 5%? Let me do it and point five, point five 
divided by pi into 100 okay it is 10 percent so it is 10 percent right that is the percentage difference write it down here okay that is your answer so down this part then proceed uh i believe you can uh, make the comparison like this table is given below the average height your uh, height of your desk right down here from the previous uh, table that is table one and convert your height height of your table into meter into feet into miles and into inches okay how to convert here is the um, here is the rule here is the conversion factors okay use this table similarly go to the second table right here and convert your thickness of tabletop into feet miles and the inches okay and finally here is the angle measurement you can use protractor and uh, write down your values of a b c d and e in this table okay now add angles b c and d remember high school geometry what should that be this value should be accurate i'm not going to tell you should know how much should that be actually okay if your value is different from the actual value that is your mistake uh, i mean suppose that suppose that i'm not saying it should be that okay suppose that it should be remember your high school geometry but if i'm not telling you as i said so suppose that a b plus c plus d should be 10 right suppose if your value differ uh, too much, that is your mistake, right? So your value, some of these angles should be the accurate value, okay? You know that. Uh, do your answer make sense? Why? So that's the answer of that question, okay? I mean, your value should be this is the, the complete angle, right? If you have a line, line like here, how much is, how much angle is this one? And how much is this one? How much is all total, right? Complete angle. That's what that is asking. That question, last question is asking, okay? So hope you could complete this left with this. Uh, Help. That's all.